Summoning John Lang, guys, welcome back to Metro Exodus. This is chapter 23, and when we last left off, make mental note of that. When we last left off, we had just got out of um, the tribal people's village. I'm trying to think of the name of it, but I don't know if we actually ever actually heard a name. Uh, we found out that the dam is actually leaking poisonous uh, radiation. Poisonous radiation that doesn't really make sense, but a poisonous bay that's leaking radiation. And uh, the people there are going to die eventually, no matter what. Uh, unfortunately, we had to get out of there. Uh, Anna's still not doing too good. And now they want to see us on the bridge. So, without further ado, we're going to go talk to Miller and see what's crack lacking. Stepan, come to the bridge. All right, one moment. Tell me what happened, Nastya. Did someone bully you? No. Why are you crying, then? I'm afraid. Afraid? Olga! What else? Alyosha here. I'm online as promised. I hope you can hear me. How is she? Well, we have news, Dart. And it seems to be bad. We haven't had any other variety in a long time, so no one. Take a seat, Bratucha. This conversation is not gonna be simple, I think. Until today, we thought that this shot of Novosibirsk was a simple error. What's we up are wrong? It. The legend says irradiated zones are highlighted in shades of green, while purple highlights indicate errors. Today, though, I found some small print. The thing is, radiation levels way outside of normal operational range of the scanner are also marked as errors. <laughs> Simply put, the radiation there may well be completely off the scale. We're about 500 clicks from Novosibirsk, and radiation wow. outside is the almost as high as back in there. Moscow. It can't be a warhead. Ah, the shots are 20 years old. The radiation can't be quite as high now, but still. Novosibirsk is, most probably, So what do we do now? Active. I'll tell you what we do. Artyom and I will go. This is not right. the other way. We go up Come together, now, sir. Now Please. first. She is my daughter. His wife. My paranoia about the occupation forces drove her into that damned bunker. And Artyom with his dream. He dragged us out of Moscow. So we, too, are to blame. Still, we are the Order. We are one crew and we should all act accordingly. We should all go. Discussion is closed. This is not an Order mission. It is a personal errand, mine and Artyom's. We don't need any help. Second, we don't know the exact location of the medicine. It might be in the city center or in one of the Academ Gorodot labs. So Anna's life might well end up in your hands, too. Third and last, wherever we might go, winter is coming. And getting the Aurora stuck in snow is what? No good. That's something we can't allow. Do you remember what Yermak said? Remind in the them, huge please. railway technology museum at the city outskirts. We'll almost certainly find a snowplow for the Aurora there. So, gentlemen, your missions are to search the Academ Gorodot labs and prepare Aurora for the winter. Crew, get ready for the mission. Also, we are starting constant radiation level monitoring outside, effective immediately. Sam, you're first. Yes, sir. I think that lethal radiation levels there are actually good news for us. Uh, you mean there was nobody left to rob the drugstores and hospitals? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Unlike the towns we've been through. But it's a possibility. It doesn't mean that those levels are actually lethal. Colonel, sir. An update on the suits. Yes. What's the situation? I managed to assemble only two complete ones. You see, they're for Artyom and me. It's fate, that's what it is. <sighs> Will they help? Well, they'll protect you from dust. But even the direct radiation there is so high, it could... Yes, uh, can you add more protection? 
Sure, Yormak does have some lead sheets in store, but the suits are rather bulky and heavy as it is. We aren't exactly attending a dance party there. <laughs> How much time will it give us? A couple of hours. Not enough, I think. Better than nothing. Don't worry. We'll make do. Always have. I'll add some lead shielding to the car's cabin. Try to stay inside for as long as you can out there. Thanks. Get on it then. Yes, Colonel Sir. Well... Still, I can't help worry. It's such a huge risk. So many good people died from radiation pop up, exposure. But you know, it does that. Whatever it wants. Cruise. Uh, I wanted to go back to the workbench because I wanted to get my load up. Apparently he's just going to shut the door on us. So that's cool. And she was completely amazed by it. Mind you, she was a real doctor. I don't think he's going to let me buy him. If I can't um, change my loadout, then I'll just go. Okay. Yeah, I can keep up with him, but I can't pass him. Weird he doesn't have collision. Is he just gonna stand there in the doorway right again? Katia's note. Boys, the medicine is called uh, Renogen F, but besides it, uh, be on the lookout for antibiotics. The best would be Kiproflaxine or Amoxiline, but grab whichever you can find anyways. We won't get her to Nova Sabrisk if we let any infection uh, to add to gas damage. Also, try to find some at the miss late. Uh, I only have two doses left and some medical gelatin in case bleeding does start again. If you see anything else like antiseptic, surgical sutures, or bandages, pack it all. You can never have too much of that. But still, first things come first. Yes, Artyom. I never told this story before, but I'd like you to listen. Okay. You see, I had this Tokarev pistol, a fail-proof thing that had failed me once. It was a great gun, powerful, punched through any body armor you could still move in. But it only had eight bullets, and that just proved not enough. I came upon some bandits that were tormenting a family, and I just couldn't. So, I snipped. And got all of them, save for one. The fucker hit me hard. By the time the order people arrived, I was half dead. Thought they were angels. Anyhow, here's why I'm telling you this now. There's fewer of us now than I had bullets then. So please, be careful in that radioactive hell. Thinking about taking the bulldog and the valve, the problem is the valve isn't going to be really much use for me if I get into certain situations. And I already have the Tika, which I'm basically using as a sniper. I definitely am going to take the bulldog. I'll take the shambler this time.
Who's <laughs> reflex lead? Yeah, I think that's what we'll go for. I think we'll take the Bulldog, the Shambler, and the Tika. I was thinking about maybe taking the, uh... Um... I want to max out. Oh, shit, I'm out of... Wow. Out of, uh... Dang. I need to do some looting. Filters are fucking pricey to make. Dang. I should have paid more attention to that. I think we'll be okay. Uh, I'm pretty satisfied with my loadout. I think we can finally start. Thank you, Alyosha. I hoped I could help. But Anna's case seems to be extremely unfortunate. The gas on the Volga lost most of its punch already. But it was enough to start the destructive process. All right. Of course, the hopes Let's start this up. I don't know how much of more of the game we have left, but I'm guessing not a whole Anna lot. Anna isn't giving up. She believes in me. Believes in us. And for a good reason. Thousands of kilometers of track behind us. We are finally approaching Novosibirsk. A dead city concealing her hope for life. The medicine that could save her. Somewhere in its cold, irradiated heart. A year ago, we left the poisoned ruins of Moscow. And now we are about to enter another city stiff in the murderous embrace of winter and radiation. Will we ever find somewhere to live on the surface? Maybe. But for now, we're returning back into the bowels of Metro. Back to save Anna. We gotta do what we gotta do. Damn, listen to those Geiger counters go. What do you know? We're here. Novosibirsk. I sure hope this time it's not another bunch of nuts. The bridges are undamaged, and the radiation's climbing like crazy. I think there'll be no nutcases this time. Hmm. The houses are undamaged too. Sam, what's with the radiation? Eight times higher than in Moscow and still climbing, Colonel. I think we better not stay outside for too long here. Are you ready, Artyom? Yeah, I'm good. Follow me. Good luck. You can rely on us. Oh, 
The situation here looks more complex than we thought. Still, time is short, so we're taking the direct approach. Let's refresh the plan. Hiramak! We'll take the Aurora south to the Sibirskaya cargo station. Uh, I'm at the next step on. Crest Sam and I will handle the Institute building in Akadem Gorodok. We'll pay a visit to the Railroad Museum on the way. There might be something for the Aurora there. Yeah. Staying to guard the Aurora with Tokarev. Good. Artyom and I are checking the Institute's main building. Radiation is way too high here, so we'll try to get there through the metro. Well, let's get to it. Good luck, Spartans. Good, Good luck. luck. Good luck. All right, back through the metro tunnels. Huh? I like it. And at winter, no doubt. Are you going out on a mission to save Aunt Anna? Yes. Could you please watch over her for us until Artem and I come back? Please? Of course. Teddy and I will be her guard. Will you help me, Teddy? Private Teddy mission acknowledged! Sounds scary, the fucking sound of him walking <clears throat> in his boots. Hush, shh. She's sleeping. Are you leaving? Yes. I hope we'll make it in time. Anna is strong. She'll be here for you. She definitely will. Just make sure you come back. Thank you, Katya. Come in, Artyom. Of course. The attack ended. I did my best. So you don't have to worry. Her pulse is strong. She's just exhausted. She'll probably sleep till tomorrow now. Alright. <clears throat> Excuse me. Come back soon. Seeing you would be the best medicine. Alright. I'll be back. Anna is strong. She will win this fight. Just make sure. Your gear, Colonel Sir. Thank you. Oh, Artyom, is this is no Moscow where you could loiter outside for months. Who knows what monsters live here? So think well what to pack. I'll be waiting at the car. <clears throat> Trust me, I thought about it. If I could, I would love to make more ammo. I'm afraid I'm going to run out of ammo so quick here. <clears throat> All right. Get on the way. With it or on it. All of the Spartan quote he gave me. You ready? We are. So, Artyom, here's your chance. Our last chance to save Anna. We must make it count. I do like how we took the car. You keep overwatch. I'll be busy watching the road. It's not squeaky clean, I'm sure. Good luck, gentlemen. We are her last hope now. Why does this feel like we're not coming back? You know what I mean? All those carriages stuck here. A failed evacuation, I presume. 
Let's try to get into the square behind the station. Metro entrance should be there. Alright. Whatever you say, Miller. Alright. Walking here would be easier, but we should minimize our exposure. So here goes nothing. So, how do you find the road to your dream? Do you wish we never set out? I can see that. Well, let's put those feelings away for the moment, Artyom. We can handle this. I think we can get out through there. Hold on! Oh, God. off-roading. That's a lot of cars. The army had the traffic blocked. The town got hit smack in the middle of evacuation. What do you mean you're jumping out here? We're definitely not entering the metro through here. Too much snow. You could have seen that from the car. Jesus. Take the wheel, Artyom. I'll handle the navigation. We better use the map here. No time for driving in circles. All right. The map puts the metro entrance quite close to our position. How close is quite close. This road should get us to the city center. They take it, but to keep looking around. There might be a way into the metro on the way. Oh, so much snow. And the storm is getting worse by the minute. Weird feeling. The buildings are intact, but the city is dead. Don't you think Moscow was better, eh? Damn. All right, okay. Turn right. There is nowhere else to go. Try the courtyard on the left. Don't rush it. We're done for if we get stuck. Go straight here. Careful, Artyom. Careful. The weather's still getting worse, as well as the radiation. We can't stay here. Tell me about it. There. That way should take us back to the main road. God damn it! Another car pile! Seems like a tank passed through here. Let's follow it. Damn. I hope the car could take us further. We'll have to walk from here. And we'll have to be quick. The radiation's rising. How the tilters won't last long. How did he do that? Come on! Let's go! We have to move or we're done for! Well then don't fucking stand around. We're approaching a large intersection! The station entrance should be right past it! I'm not waiting for it. Watch out! The snow is deep! See this, Miller.
We might be able to get into the metro here! graceful. Wow, we're finally here. Let's find a way to the city center. Hmm, that's what I call a cave-in. Through the carriage, I'll help you open that. Let's do this. Skeletons all around. These have been here for at least 20 years. Let's move on and keep your eyes peeled. These guys can't hurt us, but the survivors might. We need to get to the Lenin Square station. The Institute is a stone throw from there. The metro isn't very deep here, and with the radiation so high, the locals probably didn't last long. It's a bit safer down here, though we've already taken at least triple the norm up there. <coughs> this is just like back home. We're in an element here. What do you know? The air is breathable. kind of odd for this place to be such a hot pocket of radiation. I mean, I guess we are underground, but still. Oh, mutants again! Going to have a go at us. Let them try, I say. The straightway is blocked. Take a look around, Artyom. We need to get into the tunnel next to ours. Let's try squeezing through here. There's the passage. Move, I'll cover you. Okay, good. Bring it on! 